Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a graph and taking a graph and then um, make some room here and then uh, taking a graph and from the graph, completing a table and then finding the rule of that pattern, right? So this is a problem from CPM and this is course three, CC3. And this is section 3.2.2, number 385. So here's my graph. My graph can give me those values that I need to complete my table. So all of these represent points, points on this pattern or this line, if you will. If I were to connect the dots, that would be a line. So I can see this one right here. That's at negative 1. And then if I work my way down, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. That's at negative one. So this is at negative one comma negative three. That's where that point is. So to add that to our table, the input is negative one because that's the X, right? The X is the input. That's my X. And my Y is my output. And my Y in this for this point is negative three. So that's negative one, negative three is what I have for that point right there. So then let's keep going down the down or in the pattern, that point right there, where is that? Well, X in this case is at zero and the Y is negative one. So we have negative three, negative one, zero, negative one. And I keep going, where's this one? Well, this one, X is at one, Y is at one. That's the point one, one. So X is one, Y is one. This point here looks like it's at two on the X. Right, right here on, on the X is two, and then one, two, three on the Y. And then this point here looks like it's at, oh, so that would be two, three in my table. And then this point here uh, is at three on the X, straight up there. And then over here, where is this at? That's at one, two, three, four, five. That's at five. So three, five. So three on the X, five on the Y. So there's, there's the table from given those points. Now I've got to write the rule, right? And once again, finding the rule is what am I doing to these values to get these values? And, and the nice thing at this point, we know that every rule is something where Y is equal to you do something to X and then you might add something or subtract something. Sometimes we have a squared, an X squared, or or, or where you multiply by itself. But in this case, because it's in this linear pattern, I know pretty much my rule is going to have that type of a look. So we look to see what we have. If I have a zero, that means whatever you put in X, zero times, that whole thing goes to zero, but I get a negative one. So that tells me that this has to be a negative one or a minus one at the end. So then what, what would I do? What's the multiplier? So let's, let's start with this three. Three times what minus one is five? Well, three times two minus one is equal to five, right? So maybe it's, maybe that's a three. So let's, or excuse me, let's, maybe it's a two because that's the three there. So two times two is four minus one is three. That's true. Two times one is two minus one is one. Yes, so that works. So that would be two times whatever value that is. So my rule would be y is equal to 2x minus 1. That would be the way to write it. Okay? All right, there you go.